roster. I didn't even look at anything. I didn't look how coach played. I like Ralph's a good guy. You know, I'm glad he came. I'm glad Braden got to play in a pit against his brother. But the Golden Kid was big sky freshman of the year a lot of games last year at Weaver. I mean, he averaged like 10. I mean, until I got the roster yesterday, I was like, dang, he's on there. I mean, I just, I didn't watch him film. I didn't know how they're going to play. But I kind of wanted to go out. I think the last three years, and even when Steve was here, we just were so vanilla in our exhibition games. And then we'd come out in our first three games, and we just, it took us a while to get going. We got off slow start. So I just said, we're just going to play. We're just going to do what we do, and we're going to try to get better. Now, we got to we got shore up some pick-and-roll coverages and some things, but because we saw some things today where they pick and pop with guards and with our bigs, and that, cover, that coverage is hard. Yeah, that it is. I mean, it's especially hard. the head faking and taking it to the yeah, basket. It's, it's, it's hard. Um, defensively, starting the zone in the second half in which that man-to-man, I thought they'd pull you out of that zone in the first half because they were hitting the threes. Yeah, that's why we got out of it. We tried to do it, but... You know, our guys, we're trying to do a little bit more about that, but it's it's really hard when you can surround it with four or five shooters and they just put all those guys around. And, um, you know, then they, then they just hit some and we got lost in transition. But, you know, we'll continue to keep working and we just got to get better defensively. Cullen Nails, healthy, coming back, 33 points, seven assists, uh, eight turnovers. Do you think Cullen's – possibly maybe doing too much i mean is it well it's just like i told him i said i didn't know you're gonna go for a triple double with the turnovers so, <laughs> um, i think i think the biggest thing is i think he's got he put so much pressure on himself to do he wants to do well yeah and i think his last four turnovers were the last five minutes of the game yeah. he you know if he goes and has eight to four and he's a two to one and, and hunter you know this we always talk about great point guards. I mean, Phil Smith was a great point guard. Kelvin Scar- Scarbo is a great point guard. I mean, we've had him. Darius Gary, Hugh Greenwood. I mean, if you look at all the great point guards play here, and everybody goes, "Oh, well, he was a three to one assist to turnover ratio," or he was a well, they, they weren't. If you look at the stats, there's only two guys in the history of point guards that's played here that's been over two to one assist to turnover ratio. There's only two. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not as easy as well, to not, do it. Yeah, and not just an assist to turnovers, but to score. Yep. I mean, having yep. score responsibility yep. and distribute the ball. I think we'll get more scoring where he won't have to score like that. Yeah. But I think he's really, like, he, he can score in so many ways. Yeah. And if he gets to the line ten times, he's going to score because he's going to shoot 80% from the line and he should shoot 90. But if he can get to the line... And he can slow down. He probably was a little bit tired. He hasn't played a real game, and I probably should have taken him out to get him a blow. But he's got to learn to pivot and then look and see what's ahead of him instead of catching and dribbling, especially against the littler guys because they just get up under you. And then, you know, you're not going to get fouls as much. But, you know, it was one of those things. So it, it happened, and he'll learn from it, I hope, and then uh, we'll improve. But I, I like the fact that we do have other ball handlers. Yeah. Final thought, what about, uh, if any, impact did you see from the rules changes in the first game with the 30-second shot clock? We got 96 points. I mean, I don't know if it was because of bad defense or 96 points, but I think it's we'll, – we'll see what happens. I, I don't like – I don't like the new rule where if you're stopped and you're in position and a guy goes and you can move and that's a charge. That, that, I just don't like that rule. I, I think because I mean you can. I mean that's just a crazy rule. Uh, I don't. I like the new charge line. I like the, the 30 second. I don't. You know. I, I just don't. You're not. I, I think they thought that if they allowed the five second, no five second call, that you're going to do scoring. All you're going to do is see more dribbling. Yeah. Guys backing and, each other down, and that's what that's what we did tonight. Yeah. When we were at our worst, we did a lot of dribbling, and when we were at our best, we were moving the ball. So, you know, I think that five second rule, but it'll be. I think it'll be interesting, but I think there'll be more points scored just because of the thirty seconds. And the other thing you said though, with the thirty seconds, it might improve the scoring numbers potentially, but it might help the shooting I, percentage. I don't like the. I don't like giving the referees the ability to call technical when you don't get out of the hut. I think that's. that's that's a dumb rule. I think give the guys a break, do the same things we always do. The game's going fast enough. I mean, there's still going to be two hours. I mean, if you clocked our game tonight, it's still the same time as it was last year. They're rushing out of a huddle because it's a technical. If you don't, I mean, you can't coach your team. 
and I, I think that's a bad rule. I mean, did, they're trying to speed up the game. Did the pace of the game when the ball was in play look better to you? That's another thing they were hoping out of the third well, I think clock. I think if they didn't have as many guards, they could shoot the ball, and we played zone. I don't know if the, I don't know how the flow would be, but we would try. But I thought I thought it was pretty pretty up and down for a while. So you know, we'll we'll see how it's, it goes. It's gonna, once it's going to turn into a guard game. I mean, but that's speeding it up. I, mean, I know, but that's that's bad for the yes, game. It is. It's bad for the so, game because it's too much of a guard game yeah. now. And uh, when you make it that way, you you make kids that are really really good inside players that they think they're guards and instead of just playing the game inside out and playing it the right way. Coach Neal, thanks a lot for your time as always. Anytime, guys. Back Friday for exhibition number two. Exhibition number two. They're good. They had Oral Roberts by 11 last night, so they're good. Rogers good. coming to town. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a good challenge for us. Thank you very much. All right, guys, coach. I appreciate thanks. it. Good to see you, buddy. Lobo Edmonds basketball coach Craig Neal, our Delta Dental coaches comments brought to you by Delta Dental of New Mexico. Almost 4,000 New Mexicans covered by Delta Dental plans. For more information, log on to deltadentalnm.com. Uh, I don't know, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, the first 